everyone, I am Dr. Rohan Khandelwal and I head the Department of Breast Diseases at CK Birla Hospital, Gurgaon. In today's video, I will talk about recurrent breast abscesses. So, breast abscess or breast mein phoda hona is a very common problem hai jiske saath patients come to our clinic. And we have usually seen that these breast abscesses develop during lactation. That means when the lady is breastfeeding and because of infection through the child's mouth and because of milk stagnation, this infection develops. But the problem which I want to discuss is if the abscess is occurring again and again, phoda bar bar hona. And this can be really troublesome for the patient. Now, what are the causes which can give rise to recurrent breast abscesses? So, number one, in our country, we should always rule out tuberculosis. So, whenever a breast abscess surgery is being done, the pus should be sent out for tubercular testing as well. Because if it has TB, then we need to give medications with which TB can be controlled. There is another condition known as idiopathic granulomatous mastitis. And this is very common in our part of the country, especially in North India. I have seen a lot of cases of idiopathic granulomatous mastitis. Now, this condition behaves the same way as tuberculosis, but it will not respond to TB medications. So, whenever we are doing surgery, we should rule out this condition as well. Because for this condition, we need to give steroids. And it is very important that we differentiate it from tuberculosis. Because if we give steroids in tuberculosis, then the TB is going to spread. It will flare up. So that is why this is a diagnosis of exclusion where we have to rule out other conditions. And if we are dealing with idiopathic granulomatous mastitis on a biopsy, then we have to give steroids to the patient. The third condition which can give rise to recurrent breast abscesses is cancer. And sometimes we have seen there is a special type of cancer known as inflammatory breast cancer which is very aggressive and that can also give rise to abscess which is not healing. So whenever we are draining an abscess it is better that the wall, the biopsy is sent from the wall as well so that cancer also can be ruled out. So these are the three main causes of recurrent breast abscess which one should be aware of and if you are suffering from this problem it is my sincere request that you visit a breast expert who is capable of dealing with these problems and managing your case. If you have any questions or queries you can always write in the comment section and we will be happy to answer your queries. Thank you.